At that point, I'm wondering whether it's worth driving over there. <laughs> the beer. Got so much beer around here. Yeah. That's a that's a new. It's only been open. Give here. it a little bit of tilt so that it, when you when you duck down. Full tilt boogie. Right. No, I mean that's that's probably that's what it'll be when so when, when you duck down. Oh, I see and it. And you, and then when he's on like level. Yeah. Yeah. So good, good. Okay, John? we're good. Did you ever uh I had some friends, I never did, the Mount Washington Hill climb? No. I, I'm not paying three hundred or how many ever yeah, dollars it was to suffer. Yeah. You know, it was an eight eight a little over eight mile climb and it's forty six hundred feet. They think Caesar's head. You gotta change. Wait, what camera. John? What is it again? It's Mount Washington, New Hampshire. It's once a year they have they let bikers go up and they'll time you, you know, but it, it's not a race, but everybody, you know, tries to do their best time. It's 4,600 feet in eight miles. That's right. What? Oh, and the man. last section is the worst. There's the last huh. 200 yards is like a 20% bridge for <laughs> two, the last 200 yards. So a couple summers Jeez, ago, we went up to Vermont. Now that's... Have you ever heard of the Gap Rides in Vermont? Yeah. So. While we were there, I was digging the gaps. Gosh. I tried to go up Lincoln Gap, which is the steepest, one of the steepest paved roads in the U.S. Yeah. It's a mile, and it's 15 to like 23 percent. Wow. Yeah. And let's just say that I didn't make it all the way to the top. I made it like two thirds of the way up, and I had to walk. That's the oh, walk of shame. Yeah. <laughs> when you got your cleats on, you can't get back on your bike. Can't get back on your bike. You can't. Yeah. It's just too steep to get back on. Yeah. And uh, you have to go downhill to get back in your cleats. Yeah, and you you don't, would, that's the last thing you want to do, give up altitude. <laughs> and, then, ready? and then when you crest the hill on the other side, the, it's gravel, it turns from pavement to gravel. Oh, pavement to gravel. And I almost wiped out going down. Because yeah. oh, I had this bike. Yeah. Oh man, I yeah, I didn't know. And I had, I had 30s on. Oh, but it didn't matter. 30s it, on. it did not matter. Because, you know. Anywho. Well, I definitely want to. Yeah. You know, I definitely want to. And whenever whenever you're feeling it, you know, in another week or two, I like to go back up there and do the Caesars again. Yeah, got to do that. And, yeah. And, and, um, because I'm feeling it. And the couple of the ladies did this folk art center to Craggy Gardens part of the Mount Mitchell thing. Now, I'd like to do that much, even if it's just, what, 35 miles or. I've never been up on top of Mount Mitchell either. I'd like to do that. Huh. I think we could we but we could get a, a group of people that could just do that one for starters. It's kind of like a piece of it, you know. Go to the top. It doesn't go to the top, no, I don't believe. Oh, uh, to uh, Dave, you have to go to the top. <laughs> Well, you gotta start somewhere. You figure it was kind of like the days that I would just say, okay, we're gonna make it to Balsam Grove up 215. And we didn't make it all the way to the top. And then me and you went to Charlie's Creek. And that was a whole world of pain further to do that. So I figured, let me do this segment of that, of that Mitchell and get that under my belt first. We'll, we'll get some people that'll be into doing that. I bet Dawn, she, you, did you meet Dawn? She's the club president? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I did, I did yeah. the club last year. That's right. Yeah, you remember. You remember her then. But I was only um, 15, 15 seconds behind Dawn on, 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 on Saturday. I did pretty good. Behind Dawn. She's strong. Yeah. You bettered your time by 12 minutes. Yeah. That's, that's I looked at I looked at the at the Strava segment and was like, holy cow, because that was the one. That, yeah, last year when you and I did it. I think I've done it like four times now. As once we went with John and Brent Ziegler, the fellow that passed us before on Country Club, and we did like 51, but we parked at East Fork Gate and parked another vehicle in Rosman wow. and just did it like that, like 51 miles. That was the first time I ever went up. And you rode with Paula last year, Paula Stone. Uh, she was with us. Yeah, sure. 
she kind of she kind of rides the climb a little slow but she's consistent and she'll make it with no problem yeah she was with us saturday too it was just a really good group jan and eileen and well we started with hank bird's song at 8 30 while the rest of them converged on the downtown at nine I just wanted to kind of avoid that pack and get our own thing going. So by the time we got past the church on Middle Fork on 178, uh, that first strong, fast pack caught up to us. It was really, really good. Well, I only did yard work on Friday. I had to get mom's garns ready. And Thursday I went hiking with John after we'd done our ride, so I was wet, feeling well rested. That was the way to do it. Yeah. I said, today's the day. This is the one. <laughs> and I was like, man, this is good. You can start riding like that, feeling good. I mean, that's, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. You don't want to be dragging ass. And by the time that we got, had already done the walnuts climb, and went into 178, I was like, man, I'm feeling really good today. And then, I got John interested in doing Waynesville to Waynesville on 215, you know. We could do that one. You kind of start at Canton Park and then go past uh, Sunburst Campground and Sunburst Waterfalls and climb a parkway up that way. Did you go up to the top or not? We made, yeah, we made it to the, to the, um, to the 215 where you, you know, where you see the 215 on the top of the parkway, yeah. Beach Gap, and then came back down. And it's just, it's just a really beautiful ride. We did that a few years ago. Mike was there, Mike Elliott was there. Yeah, you guys did it when Chip, right? Chip may have been there, it's just been a while. Yeah. That's what I mean. I look back and I see those old pictures of you guys on Strava, and that's how I know that you were there. Because yeah. I've seen them. And I was like, man, I got to do that wrong. <laughs> the whole area is beautiful. Yeah. And in the fall with the colors changing, oh, that is awesome. We'll do it now, too. Back. So yeah, we got you for a bunch of good ones, my friend. I can't wait. So when's your next work gig coming up? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in negotiation with the agent. I actually have a phone call with him today, which is why the time got kind of crunched and everything. But um, we're going to ask him about a solo gig because I know more band stuff because you make more money playing solo too. Yeah, you mentioned that. You know, and they have a couple of ideas, but I don't want to go for four months. Oh. I'd rather be six weeks, yeah. eight weeks, 
Because, you know, you have to explain them. And I watch, my, I watch mom and dad. I can't be gone the whole year. So, but, but they've been working with me. Yeah, they've been finding us stuff like that the last couple of years. They know I want to be out there. That was a nine week cruise I'd gotten back from in the middle of March. Oh. Yeah, about nine, it was nine weeks. It started, started in Meta, Sydney, and it went to Fiji and, and all of um, a French Polynesia, Bora Bora. And... Yeah, don't rub it in. I saw, <laughs> I saw your stuff. <laughs> oh, the, like that oh the, half of it was, the half of it is a spin bike in the passenger gym. You know what I mean? You get to get off the ship a lot. You can you get off here and there. Sometimes it was just too blooming hot. Yeah. But, but to have the option. <laughs> you got the option though. Yeah. I love that I love that snorkeling trip. That was that was really good. You see an eel, like a, not a moor.